update on Tim. So I meal prepped two weeks of food for him and then it was Sunday morning 4 a.m. we got a call that Timmy went into the hospital again. The home had to bring him in because his oxygen levels went down but he's okay now. They got him on a machine thing not like a ventilator but um, it's kind of like a CPAP but it's a BiPAP. I, uh, it's technical. I'm not really sure exactly what it is but they got him on this new machine and his oxygen levels went up. He's conscious now. So I thought, oh no, he went into the hospital. And what about like all his meals? Now, not that I don't, I don't care if like I made them and he doesn't eat them. But then I'm like, oh no, is this going to ruin all the progress that he had? So his doctor, when, uh, cause the home contacted them and his doctor was so excited about him losing weight about this meal plan for him. So excited. So the home was so sweet when they brought him to the hospital, they brought all of his meals with him for that day. And I thought, you can't bring meals into a hospital. They'll never do that. The hospital talked with the home. My dad went to go see him at four in the morning. He just went there. He's like, I have, I know I have to go there, which was a good thing he did. But they went there and the hospital is gonna work with us. We're able to bring his meals two days at a time. So then we'll bring the rest to the home. And then the home gladly said that they would bring his meals, I think two days at a time over to the hospital to Tim there while he's there recuperating, getting all this sorted out with his oxygen and all this stuff. That is just so amazing. So a doctor comes in to my dad and we're going to call him Dr. Money because this doctor says to my dad, yeah, with the Prater will I, Timmy will never lose weight. So the only options we have are gastric bypass surgery or with his breathing, we could um, do a tracheotomy and intubate him. No, no. With this way of eating, there is physically no way that Timmy cannot lose weight. And guess what happens when you get the gastric bypass? You have to change your diet anyways. So what's the difference of just changing your diet, not getting the surgery? I have known so many people who have gotten this surgery and then they have such terrible side effects. I know so many people who have died after getting uh, a weight loss surgery and it doesn't help them. It doesn't get to the root of the problem, which is your diet, what you're putting in your mouth. If you fix that, you don't need the surgery. So my dad, thankfully, we've all gone through this change and he's seen it in us girls that he knew that no way, Jose, we are not going to do all this surgery on Tim, not when he's trying to recover from all of this and he will lose the weight if he keeps eating this way. And thankfully the hospital is going to work with us. So, and win-win, I mean, all the meals that I prepped for him won't go to waste because he can still have them. I just, I just got a happy dance. Just, just a little happy dance right here. I'm so, oh, so excited and so happy that Tim is recovering that they're gonna get the right setup for him, for his lungs, for his breathing, so that he can get back home to where he belongs, where people love him. So excited for him to keep eating healthy this way, not eating all the junk anymore, and his body's gonna respond and heal. Let me show you my Aldi's favorites. So many great vegetables here. This is my favorite organic salsa. Whole milk ricotta cheese, brie cheese, tons of other cheeses. This goat cheese is really delicious too. And delicious blue cheese. Organic peanut butter should only have two ingredients, peanuts and salt. This is my favorite Greek yogurt ever. I found these cookie sheets. I really like these. They'll fit in my toaster oven perfectly. These are great even if you wanna like freeze uh, yogurt things in the freezer. They work great, not just for beef patties. So the menu this week for Timmy's food, I went through Cooking with Joy one. So this is what we're having. Don't mind my messy handwriting because I wrote it really fast. So Monday we're having blueberry banana chia overnight pudding, which is Cooking with Joy page 32. And I'm gonna multiply it times two because I'm gonna make it for two days. Then we're gonna do tuna salad, which is page 146 in Cooking with Joy one. 
and then I'm going to multiply that times 2 because he's going to have that Monday, Tuesday. So these two things are more fresh. They're not going to be frozen compared to all the rest of the week because I'm going to make it like Friday or Saturday. And then we're going to have a vegetable quiche, which is page 272, because quiches are delicious. Uh, then again, we're going to have the overnight pudding and then the tuna salad from Monday. We're going to have that Tuesday too. And then creamy tomato soup, which is page 276. Multiply that times two. This is one of my favorite things to make. It's so quick and so easy and so tasty all at the same time. Then for breakfast, we're going to have banana oatmeal cookies, page 31. Chickpea cookie dough, page 145, because this is delicious frozen. And this is easy to batch make. Then some strawberry banana pancakes, page 39. Then we're going to make the yogurt cheesecake, which is a favorite, page 173, or volume two. I know that one's in volume two. Then I'm going to make some sloppy joes, page 279, two, two. I'm going to multiply this one times three, because he's having that three times, because it's so good. Then here we're having it again, some of the other recipes having these again. And then Sunday, we're going to make the blueberry yogurt muffins, page 88. And then he's having the yogurt cheesecake again, vegetable quiche. So that's the menu this week. Another week of meals down. So many things were made, but I think I like doing one week at a time better. If you could see my sink full of dishes, you would know that a week of meals was made just today. Uh, update on Tim. I was making all of his meals for this week today and I get a message from the manager at his home there and she says, a little update on Tim. So when he was in the hospital last week, exactly today, uh, he weighed 246 and today they weighed him, drum roll please, he weighs 239. Yay! Yes! Seven whole pounds in just one week. It's working. It has to work. Making all his meals and him only eating this, it's working. That totally like motivated me all day as I was making his meals. I'm like, he lost seven pounds. He lost seven pounds as I'm cooking, cooking. Ah, oh, so exciting. And thank you for coming along on this journey with me. This has made it even more enjoyable having you come along also. Success, it's working. He's losing weight just like we are.